Hello, I'm Danielle Steele. Tonight, my novel, Secrets, takes a look behind the scenes in Hollywood, a town and a life that's fascinating because it's especially full of secrets. I hope you enjoy the people and the secrets we reveal to you tonight. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> I can bring it in on budget. I got the figures right here. Would I lie to a network? Including the New York shoot. Let me check. <coughs> Lindsay, uh, get me casting, will you? Oh, and uh, call Miss Quarles. Tell her I'll be 15 minutes late. Lunch. Again? Mm -hmm. If they ever get back, get them to call Jane Adams' agent. Who's on two? Network. Oh, great, thanks. Yeah, give me an update on Zach Taylor. Tony! Bill Warwick. Uh, yes, we're about to make an offer to Bill Warwick uh, for the role of Lance. Yeah, I'm not asking you to put millions of dollars behind an unknown, although it was his behind that sold all those blue jeans. You've got to be a big star, Tony. Trust me. Tony, Jane Adams was a soap star. Yeah, I know she quit the business. But anyone who spent two years as a Pasadena housewife would jump at the part of a man to strand. What? Oh, you're late for lunch. That's terrific. <laughs> Talk to you later. You get Miss Quarles? No problem. She understands. I'll have to get back to you. Mel. Mel. Ah! Tomorrow auditions are all set. You have candidates. Good, good. No, she's too old. Get those budget figures over to the network before I give Tony any reason to change his mind, will you? Hello? Yes, Howard, I got the packet. Well, I really don't know what to say. I simply can't afford a private health insurance policy at the moment. Well, look, there's no money. Look, I can't talk now. I, I'm already late for lunch. I, I, I'll, I'll call you later. Yeah, 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 Tony. I understand. I understand. Getting a go on this project is dependent upon signing Sabrina Quarles and Zach Taylor. Tony, I understand. <laughs> Don't think I can do it? Watch me. Call who about Jane? Nail down Harry on Bill, and for God's sake, someone track down Zach Taylor. Don't want to keep Miss Quarles waiting. Sabina. I wasn't sure on such a <coughs> short notice. Well, I must admit I was surprised to hear. Only surprised? Pleased. It's been a long time. A lifetime. Well, the years haven't touched you a bit. How many since we first met? Twenty? <laughs> Don't remind <laughs> me. Your tea, ma'am. You remembered? Well, iced tea with no ice. Some things are worth remembering. I can't believe I said that. <laughs> I wanted to call you now, after the accident. I've got you now. Oh, sweetie, thanks. You okay? Oh, yeah. It's been a long time. That's not an answer. Well, I have my work. That's all I have right now, but uh, it's enough. What about you? Your reviews on Bitter Hearts. <laughs> Terrific. Yes. Thank you. That movie made 13 cents at the box office. Didn't you take... Uh, a one-year hiatus before it all came out. I remember someone saying you just uh, disappeared. I didn't know anyone was looking. Oh, well, someone was trying to keep track. Yeah? Sabina, I want you to work for me. <laughs> I'd forgotten how direct you were. Uh, well, it's not a feature. It's uh, television. 
it's a television series. I don't do television. Yeah, 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 but... Uh, <clears throat> read this. And you will. Manhattan. It's a great script. The role of Eloise Markham. Made for you. All right, I'll read it for you. That's all I promise. That's all I ask. For now. I'm Bill Warwick, sir. I just posted bail for my wife. And sign here. Have formal charges been filed? Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Possession. Possession with intent to sell, solicitation, and prostitution. in jail? Why would I... I didn't do any of it, Billy. Not any of it. I would set up. Come on. Let's go home. Where'd you get the bail money? I borrowed it from Mark. Said I could work it off for him waiting tables. Guess I don't have to ask where the rent money went. I'll get it back. What? I'll get it back. Yeah! Selling yourself on the boulevard the first of the month? Sorry. I didn't mean that. Yeah, you did. It's all right. I deserve it. God, Sandy, don't you get it? I love you. And I can't handle you doing this to yourself. The, the, the drugs are bad enough. The prostitution. We're talking about your life. I, our life. You gotta get some help, a treatment center, something. You wanna put me away? No. No. I just want my wife back. You are the sweetest, prettiest thing. You're still the best thing in my life. Why don't you get some rest? You must be beat. Hello. Oh, this is bad news. I don't need it right now, Harry. Well, if an offer for the role of Lance Markham in the pilot for Manhattan is bad news, I'm in the wrong business. Are you for real? Yeah, I've got a freshly packed steel memo in my hands as we speak. Boy, that audition of yours must have been really something. The offer's a good one. Oh, and, um, Bill, the ad people, they want to promote you as some, you know, hot new sex symbol. So, you know, you don't have to tell them that you're married. Harry, the only reason we kept the marriage a secret was because Sandy was on that show at the time, playing a 14-year-old. Yeah, yeah, well, well, whatever. But, you know, let's just play it smart and keep your marital status between us. Okay? Okay. Hang on. Harry, um, has, has the role of tomorrow been cast yet? No, and if you're thinking about Sandy, forget it. I can't sell her, and we both know why. She's gonna clean up. She, she promised, and, and if she got this role, it could turn it around for her. For us. Okay, let me see what I can do. But don't expect a miracle. One a day is about all I can manage. What'd I tell you, Deb? Everywhere you look, money. Oh, Lord, 
Lord. <laughs> Mr. Taylor, you could have scared a snake right out of his skin coming up on me like that. What are you doing here? Well, see, it's like this. I went down to the mailbox today. Now, you just go and guess what wasn't there. I've been out of the country. I hear tell that's why God made Federal Express. Sorry for the delay. Now, that's much better. I do like my business handled straight on, you know? It's better for you, it's better for us. Mrs. Hooper. When do I get the merchandise? <laughs> well, now, it's not near enough pay for yet. Not near enough. Mr. Taylor. Mr. Mel Wexler's office is on the line for you. Okay, Martin, I'll take you to the library. Would you show the ladies out? Good God, Mel. Are you psychic? I just got in. What are you talking about? Your picture wrapped last week. Oh, I know, I know. But who wants to leave Rome at this time of year? I mean, without a lot of scratch and fight. Read anything good on the plane? Not subtle, Mel. So what do you think? I think it's terrific. But? Oh, I don't know, Mel. Well, first thing, you, you can't afford me. Yes, I can. In that case, you've got yourself a deal. Junior League lunches today? Well, I wasn't feeling too well. Great. Terrific. Set you up to make good connections, and what do you do? You just blow it off. You're home early? Fairfax Development deal just blew up in my face, I'll tell you. You just can't trust any of those foreigners. Dan? But I know. It's gonna make me feel a whole lot better. I'm not feeling very well. Well, then maybe this will make us both oh. feel a whole lot better. <laughs> Dan, Alexa's gonna be coming home from school. <laughs> what the hell is this? What the hell is that? It's a script for a pilot for a series that I've been offered. You're not doing it. Dan, it's a chance to work with Mel Wexler. The part was made for me. It's something I could do really Let's well. Face it. There's only one thing you do well, and that's the one thing I'm keeping for myself. No. No, there's no insurance. But look, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. You just do what you have to do, and I will find the money somehow. Yes, just like that. Yes, just like that. I can't believe it. What are you doing to me? <laughs> Do you realize I spent the entire day preparing arguments for each of your reasons for saying no? Oh, dear. And here I am, cheating you out of all that. I'm so sorry. Like hell you are. Just out of interest, why did you think I'd turn you down? Your independence, your reclusiveness, which are legendary. Your snobbishness about television, the weekly grind, money. Please stop me before I talk you back out of it. <laughs> Why now? Things change. You don't. You're as exciting as you were the first day I met you. We were good for each other back then, though. Yeah. Well, I know what you're thinking. But it's been four years, you know. 
since I lost Ellen and the kids. And yes, I, I did spend most of those four years blaming myself for their deaths, or at least not being on the same plane or dying with them. No. I don't feel like that anymore. I still have my memories. Oh, yeah. It'd be awful nice to start living a real life again. That's the hard part, isn't it? See you to your door. Oh, no, please, don't go there. Hardly my house on Roxbury, is it? Did you sell that? It was a nice house. Yes. Yes, it was. Sabina, are you all right? I will be if Manhattan's a hit. I'd like to see you again. You know, I'd quite like that, too. The mechanic says you need new bricks. Yeah. <laughs> You're so gullible. You believe anything anybody tells you. Look, the brakes are just fine. Now, if you don't trust them, why don't you try staying home for a change? Then it won't matter if they're good or not. What the hell is that? You said you wanted your eggs over easy. Right. They're like rocks. I'll make you some others. No, no, please. Don't bother. I'll get something downtown. Morning, Daddy. How about a goodbye kiss from my best friend? You aren't going to stay for breakfast? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you grab your books? We'll have breakfast together, and I'll drop you off at school. Oh, great. Alexa, honey, I just made the waffles you asked for. Yeah, well, I'd rather eat with Daddy, okay? See you tonight. Mm. I'll be home for lunch. I'm sorry to call you at home, but I just wanted to let you know, if they still want me for that part, I'll take it. Yeah, I mean it. New York location shooting and all. A former series star gets arrested for possession and soliciting? Damn it, though, if you called me, maybe I could have kept it out of the papers. I thought I could handle it myself. She's my wife. A drug addict is nobody's wife. So where is she now? She hasn't been home for two days. Sure, which explains why she blew off the audition I set up for her. So, who am I reading with? The last of the finalists. Her name's Gabrielle Smith. Smile. Now you're mad at me because I said I love you? Lance, don't you understand? The cruelest words I have ever heard are, I love you. Tomorrow. Uh, yeah, all right, all right. Th thank you, uh, um, Bill. Gabby, would you wait outside, please? Sure. What's your background? Raised in the East, went to Yale. Been out here a couple of years. Small parts, commercials, that's all I know. Could our ingenue have a pass? Well, a mystery. Never hurt. <clears throat> Let's run it by the network.
You're very good, you know. So are you. I just want this part so bad. I pulled every string to get it on audition, called in every favor. I, I even had my hair redone to look like Tamara. What a pro. You still got those winter clothes of yours from back east? I think so. Good. We leave for New York in three weeks. You're gonna need them. Yes. Steve, next time, tone it down a little. This lady's beautiful enough. She doesn't need any help. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, sir, how you do go on? Give me half a chance, please. Enjoyed our dinner together last night. Only last night, not the night before. Oh, yeah, and the night before that. How many has it been? Four, oh, Miss Canton. Seven? Eight. What about tonight, my place? Should I bring wine? Yeah, bring wine, candles. <laughs> Just bring yourself. That would be nice. Kids out there, I think I slept with you to get the deal. <laughs> How about this weekend? Palm Springs, my house. Sounds lovely, but I'm going to San Francisco in the morning. I love fog. I'll come with you. No, I need to be there. Oh, deep dark secrets. a vodka martini dry on the rocks and for the lady a white wine spritzer we have a man i'm zach taylor jordan bill warwick lance I, I i've been a fan of yours for a very long time mr taylor i've always wanted a career a life like yours be careful what you wish for This is fantastic. Of course it is. It's the one you had your wardrobe people send over. Shh, 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 shh. Not in front of the children. <laughs> Everybody, Sabina Quarles. Sabina, you know Zach Taylor, I think. <laughs> we did a play together ages ago. We were just children. Oh. Now I know why no one in this town has an unkind word for you. Oh, right, Sabina. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, Jane Adams who plays Amanda. How do you do? I'm looking forward to working with you. I will make your life a living hell. It's in the script, Jane. Oh. It's in the script. <laughs> yeah, uh, Bill. Uh, Bill Warwick, uh, your stepson, Lance. Well, I can see now why they changed it to stepson. No one ever believe you're old enough to be my natural mother. Oh. If you didn't put him up to this, he deserves a bonus. Well, considering your looks, more screen time. Uh, Gabrielle Smith, uh, your daughter, Tamara. Hi, it's nice to meet you. My parents were big fans of yours. How lovely. I thought you said you'd cast someone pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Uh, let's get a real drink, shall we? Stinger would be appropriate. I heard she's difficult to work with. 
Who? Our Miss Quarles. Isn't everybody? Beautiful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I thought I heard Mel say that you were coming with your husband tonight. Oh, he's out of town on business. My daughter's on a sleepover to girlfriends. It's so strange I never do anything without my family. How old's your daughter? Oh, Alexa's nearly 16. And she's beautiful. Well, mercifully, she hasn't shown any signs of being interested in show business. Well, actually, she said she'd like to become a lawyer. <laughs> I think I must be boring you to tears. Not at all. No, in fact, you're very much like I thought you were going to be. You're just like your character in Secret Sorrows. Oh, you watch the soaps? What else is there to do on location? I mean, it got to be a habit after a while. You know, you were so terrific on that show. Why did you leave? Well, it was getting hard managing the family and the show and Dan. My husband thought I... I was sorry to leave. Sorry to see you go. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> now, I have been uh, threatened, bribed, blackmailed, and bullied by someone among you who shall be nameless to keep my remarks to a minimum. Die. So I will be brief. Impossible. A. I'm thrilled to have you all on board. B, I am proud to be associated with you. C, we're going to have a hell of a lot of fun over the next few months. And D, with any luck, over the next few years. Here, here. Here, here. here. Now, none of us are related <laughs> in any way. Certainly not through blood. But we are a family. And we're a family that is bound together by respect, talent, trust, and a passion for what we do. But a family has rules, and here they are. Learn your lines, hit your marks, be on time, stay out of trouble, and if the show's hit, don't renegotiate your contract. <laughs> so, as titular head of the family, Patriarchus Supremus, I wish you good luck, Godspeed, and welcome to Manhattan. 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 That's it. Everybody out now. You don't come home for a week. You don't call. I'm going half crazy looking for you now. But get your sleazy ass off my couch and get out of my house before I call the cops. Billy, you're hurting me. You're hurting me. Coming. schedule calls for me to go to Paris on Monday for a week of fittings. But I can be there at the weekend before I fly to New York. I just need to hear you tell me that it's going to be all right, that nothing's going to happen. So you'll call me anytime, any place. Mm. Well, I can be there within a matter of hours. 
Look, I've got to go. I'll call you again tomorrow. And David, thank you. Come in. Doors open. I'm in. Already. Oh, I'm sorry I took so long. Zach wanted to talk. Oh, my God. Who was that? Did I hear voices? No. Oh, yes, I was on the phone. I made some coffee. Post-mortem time. <laughs> oh, you can be so wicked. Go, go. Well, now, interesting group. Mm -hmm. Zach has changed since I last saw him. I mean, he's still fun on the surface, but I sense trouble underneath. Oh, thank you. Jane's frightened. Of you, I should think. Thank you so much. No, no, Jane's fear is deeper, older. I don't know. Uh, Bill? Oh, what an adorable boy. Yeah, I thought you'd think that. Mm. <laughs> but, you know, he is in some kind of pain. That's what makes him seem so cold and aloof. I like him. <laughs> Gabrielle. Oh, well, of course, she's beautiful. And I don't know. I think she's hiding something. <laughs> so <beautiful. laughs> Listen to us. As if we didn't have secrets of our own. Ah, would that I had. I mean, my life's an open book. What about yours? Yes, well, you men like women of mystery. So I think that I shall make up a few. I wish you could join me in Paris. We're going to be apart for a whole week. Oh, no, we're not. I'm flying over on Thursday, and we can come back together on the Concord. You can't do that. I've decided to fly to San Francisco before going to New York. Why? Oh, it's just a personal business matter. Oh, please forgive me. That doesn't tell me much. No, Wexley, you're jealous. No. Yes. Tell me I have no reason. Oh. I am with you now, Mel. Doesn't that tell you all you need to know? I asked you a question. At the cast party for men. Manhattan. Why the hell would anyone want you there? Because I'm part of it. I'm the cast. I, I, I took the part. After I told you you couldn't? I was going to tell you you were out of town. I make the rules in this house. You defy them. Do you know what that means? Do you? Do you know what that means? Open this door! Open it! I don't want to do! Open it! Get out of my way, Dan. The driver's here. My bags are in the I'm car. warning. You walk out that door, you won't have a home to come back. Well, you, you see what's happening here, Princess, don't you? Your mother is turning her back on us for her career. Dan, are you leaving us? No, honey, that's not it at all. I'm just going for four weeks. You're going to be with me for two of them. How can you do this to us? How? You go ahead. You just go ahead and play with your actor friend. Cheap whore. You can get a divorce, as far as I'm concerned. Janie. This is not over. Not by a long shot. 
You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, did you manage to reach your daughter? I reached the attorney. Mm -hmm. And even though he's forced Dan to let me have her for Christmas, Alexa herself is fighting me now. Well, at least Dan is finally out of the house. Oh, I'm sorry. We seem to spend all our time together discussing my problems. Did you get some bad news? No. Everything's fine. Hi. Hi, Zach. Hi, Jane. Hi. Wow, who's the lucky guy? No guy, just a little family get together. See you tomorrow. Harry, it's been three weeks. Somebody must have heard something, anything. Did you talk to her folks? Yeah, yeah, and uh, nothing. Bill, um, Sandy never showed up for her trial date. There's a warrant out for her arrest. Look, I'll talk to Mel. Uh, maybe I can get a few days off, get back and... Uh... And, and do what? But you think you're going to find her? And if you did, then what? Bill, it's time to give up on her. I only wish I could. Gabrielle Thornton Smith, daughter of pharmaceutical heir Everett Thornton Smith and White Charlotte, joined her parents at a dinner party at their home during a break in the filming of the series Manhattan. gonna do. Now everyone's gonna think I'm some poor little rich girl who bought her way into the business. Maybe it'll be easier now that everybody knows. Mm -hmm. Keeping secrets takes up a lot of energy. I know. Come on. Jane, how am I gonna face them? <laughs> How am I going to get through my next scene? By being the wonderful actress you are. You can do it. Come on. Fire, please. We're rolling. Hold traffic. Yes, please. Mark it. Let it 
up, guys. Background action. action. Tomorrow, please, just give me a second chance. We were good together once. We can be good together again. Do you really believe that? I mean, do you really believe that? Cut. Okay, release traffic. Don't go, baby. Bernie, I don't know what's happening. You might try learning your lines. Go, oh, I'm sorry. My mind just went blank. Ten times. I said I was sorry. Oh, like, like that's supposed to cut it? What's your problem? Look, why are you even here? You sure as hell don't need the job. I earned this role. Oh, yeah, right. By buying it. From some poor actress who really needed it, who really deserved the chance. That's lunch. Because it was supposed to be a surprise. Sabina! Some women might think that a surprise one-week cruise in the Caribbean on a 150-foot luxury yacht was a fairly decent Christmas gift. I made other plans. Oh, don't tell me. Let me guess. You're going to San Francisco. Yes. I have to go. No, Sabina! You do not have to do anything you don't want to do. The past few months have made that perfectly clear to me. You're going because you damn well want to go. Now, who is he? Mel, I have never lied to you, and I'm not going to start now. No, but you're not going to tell me the truth either, are you? <laughs> oh, boy, I'm right I might have guessed. Okay, don't say it. I understand. You want your independence? You want your privacy? Okay, fine. You got it. I just hope you'll find it's not enough. No, I think there's something else with Bill. I think Gabby just kind of got in the way. <laughs> I think she's got a crush on him. Yeah, maybe so. Thanks for dinner. You're welcome. And thanks for listening to me. I like listening to you. I do. <laughs> Boring. Janie, why do you say things like that about yourself? Well, Dan always said he made me feel. I'm bad. not Dan. I know. No sweat. Dad got a huge one. Besides, you know, I don't think I want to see any of that stuff anyway. It's just going to remind me of all my Christmas parties I'm missing this year. Not all. I've invited the whole cast to my parents' house for Christmas Eve. And that includes you too, Alexa. Now, totally fabulous. Alexa.
to say anything. I know we agreed not to exchange gifts, but I lied. Here. Go on, open it. When I was looking at the store window last week. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Come on, let's try it on. <laughs> Merry Christmas. So they have a thing going? They're just friends. Yeah, well, my dad told me what friends are like in Hollywood. Do you always listen to what your dad tells you? Mostly, I guess. Why? Because I don't think he's playing fair. Fair? She's the one with the new boyfriend while my dad's all alone. And she's the one who walked out. You ever think maybe she was pushed? <laughs> oh, it's so lovely. I just wish Gabby was as happy as I am tonight. Oh, because Bill didn't show you. Yeah. I think the only reason she invited everyone was to invite him without <laughs> seeming obvious. Sneaky. Maybe he'll come by later. No, he's gone back to L.A. I saw him leave at the airport this morning. Did I say something? Oh, I was just thinking I'd like to stay here forever. So would I. But we have to get back for that. New Year's Eve press party that the Network Brass is throwing for us. Oh, I know. It's just the thought of going home is somehow frightening. I her back there in New York, didn't I? Maybe. Anything I can do? No. 
Why would you want to after the way I've treated you? Maybe because I think you're a nice guy. talking to business affairs, and they tell me you've already asked for three advances on your salary. Is it Zach? Is it a tax thing? No, no, no. It's nothing like that. I'm just, you know, falling a little behind. That's all a little short. You're sure? Yes. Yes, yeah, that's nothing, honestly. Mel, Tony's here. No, I'll talk to you later. young man running out just before midnight on New Year's Eve must be a woman. Sorry. The coffee, man? Uh, no, thanks. You sure Sandy said 11? Yeah. Damn near broke every existing land speed record to get here by then, too. In the Jeep? I doubt it. Give it up, Del. She's not coming. Yeah, I gotta find her. Settle this thing between us once and for all. Thanks for the call. Yeah. With all the food they had at the party, you're still hungry? Where are the glasses? Uh, can it? You know, press party rule number one. Why don't you get your mouth full? I want to take a picture of it. <laughs> Try to remember that. Sounds ominous. Well, it is, kind of. Three years ago, I was on location. And I went to a bar and had a few drinks, and I met someone. And I went back to the motel, and I spent the night with her. The next morning, her mother shows up with a videotape of us. She managed the motel and, and set us up. And that sort of thing happens. But in this case, the woman, the girl, turns out to be underage. And I've been paying her ever since. Or they go to the police. Yeah. I'm not press or tabloids. That happens my career, my life. It's over. I just want you to know. So in New York, you said I didn't have to say anything. Now I do.
Yes, all right, all right. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Before you say one single word, you are going to hear me out now, Wexler. Sabina, it is 3 a.m. Yes. Happy New Year. You've ignored me all evening, and then you leave before we had five minutes together. But five minutes for what? For you to tell me that you have someone else in your life? <laughs> there is no one else. There was six years ago. He was a very ambitious politician. And he has a wife and two children. But it's over. And it has been for five years. And why all the secrecy? Why all those trips to San Francisco? Well. Yes, hello. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, well, I'll try to get the legal department on the line. Thanks. Thanks, Harry, for calling. It's Bill Warren. He's been arrested. For the murder of his wife. Warwick has been bound over for preliminary hearing, bail not yet set. According to the coroner's office, Sandra Westfield... Is she an actress? Yes. Warwick's wife of three years was killed sometime between 11.30 and 12.30. There is just no way that kid is capable of killing anyone, and let alone his wife. I feel so badly I had no idea he was in such trouble. Was I the only one who didn't know he was married? What are we going to do? I mean, we can't just let him sit in jail. Well, until the bail is set, I don't think there's anything much we can do, Gandy. So, do we need to get in touch with you? Excuse no, no, me. I'll be right here. Yeah. Are you the officers on the Sandra Westfield murder? Yes, ma'am. Did you know her? No, but I know Bill. And I can tell you right now, he didn't do it. I like your spirit, Gabby. We all want to help, but... No, really, he couldn't have done it. Bill was with me all night. Were you two having an affair? No. I had a phony alibi. I have no idea. Were you two trying to keep this thing a secret from your wife? Look, I told you. She, she, she didn't even know we were married. No one did. Is that why he killed her, then? To keep everyone from knowing you had a junky wife? To save your career? No. Yeah, well, let me take it back. I think we can lose him earlier. Right, stop it right there. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> That'll do it. That's it. You, uh, you got a minute, Mel? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's take five. I, I just wanted to come by and thank you. For getting me to lawyers and setting up bail. Oh, come on. Nothing. How are you doing? Look, I'm, uh... I'm sorry about, uh, all the trouble I've caused. Not lying to you and everything. Well, forget it. Uh, look, <clears throat> Bill, uh, I can understand that uh, you're trying to protect someone you love, but you have to understand something. The network is pressuring the hell out of me to get you off the show. I'm willing to go to the mat for you, but I... I've got to know the truth. Did you do it? No. I didn't. OK, good. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I think I can buy us some time. If I can get the network to agree to my shooting two cliffhangers. One, which is in the script already, and the other in which Lance dives. They can't convict me. I didn't do it. I can. You didn't know her, Mel. When I first met her, she was so good, so sweet. I loved her so much. And afterwards, with the drugs, I still loved her. They shot her, Mel. Her face, her head. There was blood everywhere, and... Um, 
Look, I wish I could tell you that when it's all over, everything's going to be fine, but I can't. I still might lose the battle to keep you. I understand. Look, Mel, uh, you've talked to the lawyers. What do they say my chances are of beating this thing? 50-50. I, uh, I know I don't have the right to ask any more favors, but, uh, I need tomorrow off. Sandy's funeral. Want some company? Well, the actress finally wanders home. What are you doing in my house? Your house? You bought it? You paid for it? <laughs> I don't think so, Janie. What do you want? I want you to stop trying to buy off Alexa with gifts and trips. I'm not. Uh, she tells me that you have a new boyfriend. That's it. Get out of here. How does he measure up to Let you? Let go of me. How does he measure up to you? You've forgotten what it was like between us. Dan, don't. Dan, don't. Dan, don't. Stop it. Stop it. Jane. Jane, Alexa's gonna take one look at you and she'll know what her father did. She can't know, she can't know. I gotta tell her what I've always done. Just tell her that I've All right, then at down. least, at least let me call the police. <laughs> You wanted your wife to play tomorrow, didn't you? She never showed up for the audition. She was stoned. So I got the part, and, and every time you looked at me, you were reminded of what you had with her. Sorry. It's okay. I bring good news. Make it brief. The network, bless them, has ordered an additional seven episodes of Manhattan, bringing our initial order up to 13. Here, hey! here. All right. <laughs> let's go. Let's do it. Tonight, the season premiere of a sweeping new drama of power, passion, and intrigue. Manhattan. How's 
phone all afternoon and pressing me to get rid of him. What? Mel, he's gonna fire me. The network's gonna make him fire me. Do you wanna go somewhere and talk? Yeah, I'd like that. It should be such a great night. It should be. What happened? Another call from Darlene Hooper. Just before I left the house. She's raised the ante again. Oh, Zach. I wanted you to have that restraining order against Dan as soon as possible. Thanks. Ooh, about that other matter. I had a private investigator check out Dove Hooper. You just might be right about her and her mother being scam artists. <laughs> Sally Woodman, an investigator with the County Juvenile Authority. May I come in? What for? Zach Taylor turned himself into the LAPD last night. He told us all about his affair with your daughter, the videotape, the fact that your daughter at the time of the incident in question was a minor. Now, do you want to discuss this out here? Are you going to let me come inside? You're inside. Now what? In his deposition, Mr. Taylor admitted that he'd been paying you and your daughter huge sums to keep this affair quiet. Is that right? I don't have to tell you nothing. Mrs. Hooper, I'm not a police officer. I'm merely here to protect the interest of the minor child involved. Now, if you did make such a videotape, you could be brought up on charges for contributing to the delinquency of a minor as well as legal child abuse. Now, given your past record with the law, I feel I have cause to intervene. Intervene? What's intervene? I'm afraid I have to remove Dove from your home. Take her to a juvenile detention facility. Dove, dear, why don't you go ahead and get your things? Don't you move. She's 21. <laughs> Mrs. Hooper, even if Dove is an adult now, there's ample evidence to suggest that she was underage at the time the videotape was made. What videotape? I didn't ever say nothing about a videotape. Well, Mr. Taylor said it happened three years ago. See, I'm 21. I was 18. Shut when... up! If, however, the tape was made more than three years ago. This automatically becomes a police matter. Wait one minute, will you? You know some other can work this out? I don't think so. Yeah. If I can prove Dove here wasn't a minor, that means there's no case, right? Unless Mr. Taylor chooses to press blackmail charges. No. You wait, just one minute. Here's tape. It's got one of them date things on it. The camera did that automatically. Here's Dove's birth certificate. Copy, anyways. If you take them both to the cops, they're going to tell you we didn't do nothing illegal. Mama, Taylor can't prove nothing. Now, this is the only way I can get us both off the hook. Here. Well, if this is the original and there are no visible signs of editing. It ain't only the original. It's the only one. Go on, take it. Zach! Hey, Martin. Zach! 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 I'm here, what's going on? It was a scam, Zach, right from the start. Dove was 18. I 
love you. <laughs> but couldn't the Hoopers, I mean, still go public when they realize that the press conference never came up? I wouldn't worry about it. If they say anything at all, they risk being charged with blackmail and extortion. <sighs> Face it, Zach. Mm -hmm. It's over. I don't believe it. <laughs> but you knew. You knew right from the start it was a scam, didn't you? Knowing you, yes. Where's that come from, that faith, that, that confidence? Knowing you love me, just the way I am. You know, I care for you. Well, what kind of life can I offer you now with all the trouble I'm in? I don't want promises. I just want you to love me. Now. Okay. Cut and print. Good job, sir. You got it? 69. BJ, give me that coffee. Hey, is this a new deal or what? Bernie, Bernie, <laughs> your question's as good as mine. Uh, midnight. Everybody, uh, hi kids, how'd it go? Everybody, the national ratings just came in for the first episode, and I am proud to report that we rank number two for the week. Sabina. Uh, Mel, see you a minute. <laughs> She's not coming in. To when? I don't know. And neither did she. How long did you shoot her out of? Oh, two days, maybe three. But then what? You know what the network will say. Yeah, the replace her. I guess I kept hoping right up until the last minute that the judge would throw the case out for lack of evidence. But uh, that didn't happen. You don't have to do that, you know. What? Put up a brave front. Am I doing that? Dr. David Moulton. He's the head of cardiology at Palo Alto Memorial Hospital. He's the one that picked up Miss Quarles at the airport. What do you know about him? Married, two kids. And his relationship with Miss Quarles? <laughs> I'd say these pictures tell it all.
He's made it through surgery and is holding his own. But we won't know anything more for several hours. What is all this? Mel. No, what, what is all this? Mel, this is Dr. Moulton. He's the surgeon who operated on Matthew. Matthew is my son. He was born with a severely underdeveloped heart and lungs. And David, uh, Dr. Moulton, he's an old friend of the family, and he's been looking after him here. But it, this is the best hospital in the country for pediatric cardiology. What happened? Just before you offered me the series, suddenly Matthew went into crisis, and his only hope was to have a complete heart and lung transplant. The operation took place the weekend when you wanted to join me in Paris. And of course, Dr. Morton performed it. Everything seemed to be going so well. <laughs> His body rejected. I don't know. What about his father? By the time I realized I was pregnant, that his father and I had parted ways. Maybe it was very selfish of me, but I really wanted that baby. Even if it meant bringing him up by myself. But I couldn't tell anyone. Oh, for God's sake, Sabina, I wish you had. I mean, this isn't the 50s anymore. Actresses have illegitimate children all the time. No one seems to care. Oh, no. It wasn't because of me. I wanted... I wanted to protect Matthew. And I also wanted to protect his father. The scandal would have completely ruined his political career. He didn't even know about Matthew. No. And you've been carrying this secret with you. All these years. No, he almost died. And I wasn't even here. What sort of a mother is that? A damn good one. I'd say. Who does her best to protect her child? <laughs> My brave little soldier. You're going to come and live with Mummy in Los Angeles. I love you, and I promise we'll never be apart again. First, you slept with my husband. Ex-husband, Eloise. And now you've poisoned my own daughter against you me. You brought this on yourself, Eloise. Oh, have I? For God's sakes, Eloise. If I can't what? have you, Jordan, no one can. Mother, put the gun away. Mother, stop. Stand by, Bill. Stand 
and the state will prove beyond a reasonable doubt that William Warwick murdered his wife in what can only be described as a cold, calculated move to protect and further his acting career and to free him for a more advantageous relationship and to free him from a marriage to a drug addict and prostitute. I said I lied. But why? Because you were in love with him? Because the two of you were having an affair? Because you wanted his wife dead? Objection. Sustained. Let me put it another way, Miss Thornton Smith. You're a very wealthy woman, are you not? Yes. So should you and the defendant marry, he too would benefit financially, would he not? Yes. The defendant was in your bar from 11 p.m. until 12 midnight, is that correct? Yeah. He was waiting to meet Sandy. But she never arrived. And when the defendant left, what were his last words? He said he was going to find her and settle it between them. Once and for all. If convicted of first-degree murder, Warwick could face life without the possibility of parole. It's interesting to note that the entire cast of Manhattan has been in the courtroom every day in support of their castmate, and that rumors of an impending marriage between cast members Zack Taylor and Jane Addams have been growing stronger. Addams is reportedly waiting for her divorce to become final from real estate developer Daniel J. Adams. And now we're going to take you behind the scenes for a close... Doesn't look good for Bill. No, it doesn't. You know, these kinds of cases, a lot hinges on Bill's character. Well, maybe Mel's testimony will help. Let's hope so. Well, how about a drink? Alexa, honey, what are you doing at home? I thought your father said you were going to spend the night at Susan's. Yeah, well, we got into a fight. Oh, she is such a dweeb, oh. so I just came back here. Is there a problem? No, of course not. I can't wait that long. <laughs> Don't forget to lock Too late. <laughs> <laughs> This is all your mother's fault. She no. made me. It was you the whole time. You lied to me. No, 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 no. She deserved it, all of it. Oh, Daddy, please don't hurt Mommy. Oh. 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 Oh, 
Don't love me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, though, that, that, that's true, Your Honor. He never told me. Bill never told me he, he was married. Well, what of it? I mean, in our business, where deception and delusion are a <laughs> way of life, his lie by omission surely was never meant to hurt anyone. But you see, you've got to understand something. In our industry, we buy and sell images. And the public, rightly or wrongly, are desperate to believe that what they see in those images is true. I mean, they've got to believe them. So what we have to do is hide our little secrets, all of us. So we become patriotic, God-fearing, heterosexual, HIV-negative, monogamous, married, single, as required, if we want to keep working. So there really isn't any blame here. But if you want someone to blame, blame the business, blame me, if you like. But don't blame Bill Warwick. He was only playing by the rules. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? Yes, we have, Your Honor. Yeah. Will the defendant please rise and face the jury? Proceed. Find the defendant, William Warwick, not guilty. Set. I think you're having it redesigned. What do you think? Um, I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure. Mel. Yeah. Let me make this easy on you. Thank you for supporting me during the trial and for the statement you made. And thanks for giving me a chance to be a part of Manhattan. I'm going to miss it. Going somewhere? I just thought... Don't think. Just listen. I talked to the network today. They seem to think there's no reason why Lance has to die from that ugly gunshot wound. Besides, we wouldn't want our leading lady to turn into a murderer. Would we? Surprise! Yeah! support you've given me, even when I didn't deserve it. And thank you for being the best family I've ever had. All right. <laughs> All right before, before we open the champagne, this is official. The network has given us a full season order. Manhattan is picked up for the fall. <laughs> Uh, 
How's Matthew? Oh, he's so much better. David says he may be able to come home in about six weeks. Oh, that, that's, I was thinking about that. I mean, you're, you're serious about, about uh, having him uh, live with you in, in Los Angeles? Of course. Uh, well, I was thinking that... Uh, well, I mean, your apartment, <laughs> not exactly <laughs> set up for, no, no, for, for no. a child. Uh, I've got to start looking for a house right away. I've got a better idea. Why, why don't you both come over and uh, live with me? What are you saying? Uh, Sabina. watching secrets. I hope to see you again soon. Good night.